is up my friends my name is echo through me and today i'm back with another episode of clash royale 101 where we break down every troop in the game and teach you how to use it both offensively and defensively and today guys we're taking a look at the bowler but before i go any further i want to say thank you for coming down to the channel i really do appreciate it and thank you pj guts for sharing the replays that display some nice bowler gameplay here today guys let me know in the comments below do you use the bowler have you ever used the bowler what do you think of the troop let me know so the bowler is an epic troop he basically rolls a um a boulder knocks back any troops coming his way and does damage throughout that roll not just on the initial strike so it's a great defensive troop and the whole key to using the bowler is to do a defensive stand and then use him as a push troop to go towards and attack the opponent's tower he has at level four he has almost 1600 hit points 95 damage per second and every roll gives 239 damage and he targets obviously ground troops and he's uh, he's a pretty slow guy so we're gonna look at a replay right here guys that kind of shows you how this bowler is used and right in the beginning of the match here on the left hand lane you're gonna see some nice defense play with this bowler preventing a hog push um, as well as best as he can I mean the hog does make it to the tower especially because of that ice spirit but nice defense played really you know minimizing the damage that was done by that bowler and now uh, by the hog and now that bowler pushes up the left hand lane with archers behind as a tank and does a little bit of work himself and with the combination of that graveyard spell um, you know really nice push right here but that bowler, the graveyard, and the archers really work well together right there. But as you saw right there, guys, that bowler is a great defensive troop that you can then push forward with and use kind of as a tank. And uh, which kind of clears the way for everything that starts coming at it. And uh, he's using his furnace right here as a defensive structure. He does it well. But this episode is not about the furnace, guys. So offensively, you use it. You use the bowler as a tank. You allow him to clear the path for any troops, and you're gonna want to support behind him with archers or mega minion or anything that is um, that can shoot air troops. Because most of the time, someone's gonna throw a mega minion or something that can shoot at it, maybe from the air to take it out. Just because if the bowler has a troop in front of it as you see right here it's going to roll its boulder and knock your troop back which makes it difficult for you to actually get at him and, and actually to take him out so people are going to throw minions mega minion dragon things like that on top and uh like, just like this opponent's doing right here so the bowler took it out and he's going to do one roll to the tower knocking it down to 578 this mega minion is going to um make it to the tower with one or two shots two no i think just one and here's another boulder, um, bowler push. Kind of acts as a giant, not quite as many hit points, actually about half the hit points. And um, But at the same time, it can tank for those other troops behind. Now, nice job by the opponent here, distracting the bowler, allowing the tower to take the bowler out completely. Here's another, giant, uh, another hog ice spirit push. Nice job with the distraction there, PJ. And the Mega Minion is going in. It looks as if another Graveyard spell is going to be used right here to um, to work on that tower. But with that Ice Golem and the Archers, they do a pretty nice job. But here comes a boulder, uh, a log, I'm sorry. And 11 hit points left in that tower. So this, this tower is as good as gone. He's just throwing this boulder right here to play some solid defense. You're going to get to see how this works right here. Nice job. Going to Well, actually, you got... Really nice job by the opponent, actually logging and then and then ice spiriting that uh, bowler right there. Another graveyard spell played in the right hand side, but I think you guys are getting a good idea here as how the boulder can actually just keep these troops away from the um, away from your tower, really keeping them, you know, playing a, a nice solid defensive stance for your for your uh, deck. But again, it's a tank; it can do both. It's pretty simple there's not much more I can go into about it guys but um, I mean I've said it a million times you defend and then you use him as a tank and push the opponent's tower and that's how it's done so we're gonna take a look one more time at the bowler look at his stats and uh, and there you go and I'm gonna wrap it up right here guys as you know I have episodes for so many of the cards in the game and every week I'm putting another episode or two out I also just started a uh, basics beginner's guide 
to Clash Royale, which doesn't as much focus on the cards, but it also focuses on different strategy styles, like the first episode was talking about how to tank in the game, and many of us take things like that for granted, but when we start out, when you're a very beginner, maybe you don't know these things, so that's out as well. Hopefully you guys get to go check that out. I'll kind of uh, throw a card up top so you guys can take a link and take a look over there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If it was helpful to you and if, it, if you learned anything from it, I hope that you decide to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it if you do. And if you're already subscribed, guys, please hit that like button for me to show some support. And for those of you that don't know, I come out with content every single day, both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. Big shout to PJ Guts. Thanks for the replay. And Warmasters Inc. for having me in the clan. Love being here, guys. Until next time, take care and be good.